my mask up and take it, 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 mask up and take it. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks. The only mask channel that shot videos with Guar, Ghoul, and even Slipknot. And would love to shoot one with John Goblicon of Necro Goblicon, but can't because their manager's a fucking idiot. Would Skype work? And in today's video, we are unboxing a very small little package here from the Ghoul merch store. Are you still asking yourself who Ghoul is? Someone hasn't been watching my videos. Ghoul is... Off with their heads. is fucking rad. So after I shot that little Halloween video with them, I decided to hop onto their merch store and order a shirt, and I saw that they were actually selling authentic ghoul hoods. Now these aren't stage used hoods, but I do own one. But uh, they said that they were made the same exact way, and I'm pretty sure that the Cremator is the one that makes them, and he makes the real ghoul ones as well. So I went ahead and ordered one of those as well, and we have it here now, and I'm ready to unbox it. The cool thing is I'll be able to go up and grab my ghoul hood and compare it to the real deal, so... Go ahead and check out what we've got in here. First up, I'll show the t-shirt because it's fucking rad. I always need more t-shirts even though I only wear like the same 10 in rotation. This one's fucking sick though. I like that it says as your casket closes and I also like the fact that it's got snails on there because ghouls sound French. Uh, bonjour! <laughs> Je suis cremator of ghoul. So yeah, there's that. And then, oh man, I'm gonna have to buy another one just because the packaging's so cool. I'm gonna want one to keep in a package by itself. There is the ghoul hood and unfortunately I have to open this and as a collector I don't really want to do that. But I'm just going to go ahead and order another one whenever this video is over. One to keep out on display and one to keep in the packaging. Battle the evil Kylo Ren! Lightsaber! Or leave it in the box! Stormtroopers attack! Or leave them in the box and never touch them! I have Rey and Finn. I have three of each. One to display, one to open, and one just in case. Collect them all and the fun never stops! So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, open this guy up. I'll try to keep it as, and I fuck it all up. I was gonna say, I'm gonna try to keep this as untorn up as possible, but I am a failure, just as my parents always tell me. So one thing I can definitely tell is that the material of this is different than the burlap material of the actual hood that I have, but it's got the same exact like formation, like maybe it was made off the same template or something. But uh, yeah, there you can see it obviously needs the eye holes cut out and on the back of the packaging here it actually says to cut out this piece of paper, trace it onto the mask, and then cut that out. So they thought of everything. It says instructions for care. Machine wash cold. Air dry. Do not wear while driving. Do not wear while eating. Do not wear at all. So witty and funny. Right here. Official ghoul mask. A limited amount of fun for all ages. Not unlimited. A limited. Well, hell yeah, that's cool. I think I'm gonna go cut these eyes out real quick. That way I can give you guys some warm shots. But while I'm away, I'll go ahead and grab the Stage Juice Cremator mask, hood, whatever you want to call it. So we'll be right back. A few moments later. All right, got the eye holes cut out. Kind of did them a little imperfect because they're supposed to look jagged and worn and weird and gross and handcrafted. So went ahead and cut those out. I also brought down my Stage Juice Cremator hood to kind of show them side by side. Clearly this one's a little bit more heavy duty, but he used this for like five or six years before giving it to me, so it's gotta be able to withstand hundreds of shows. This one seems to be more like a sheet. So there's that. I will be getting another kind of weird long necked mannequin head to display this one on, but for now it's just going to go on a mask stand. I've got some made that are a little taller than normal and I can just throw some bags up into the head for stuffing, but this stuff came at a really good time because if you guys have been paying attention to Harold, he's definitely been very ghoul inspired lately. I went and got a pillowcase and I've just been doing stuff to that for the last week or so. And it's about to come off because I think I've uh, pretty much killed it at this point, but it's still definitely been fun and this stuff showed up at a good time because of Harold. Not to mention the fact that we just did a video with Ghoul like a week ago. And if you haven't seen that, make sure to go check it out. And if you haven't seen Ghoul, make sure to go check them out. I'm going to be dropping some of their information down below. They've been super, super kind to the House of Masks over the years, and uh, they're just really fucking rad. Like, their music is cool, their imagery is cool, and their whole shtick is really fun. So I would highly suggest checking them out. I think that if you're a fan of this channel, you'll probably be a fan of Ghoul. So with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and throw this on for some worn shots, and that will close out today's video. 
I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. Say no to drugs and alcohol, and until next time, we will see you later. Oh, uh, and I'm just playing Brandon Dermer. You know I love you. Thank you.